Every day, you scroll through the same trends on TikTok, eat the same bland cereal in the morning, and sit through the same monotonous tasks on your work. Let's face it, in reality, we feel like majority of our life is boring and that's why sometimes we feel unhappy about it. Hi friends, it's Leonard here. In today's episode, we will talk about the reasons why you're feeling unhappy. And I'll share with you three ways that you can do if you want to get out of this emotion. Hmm, let's start. Life in general is usually pretty normal. We do the things that we do every day. A routine, a pattern, or a system that we stick to. And usually, that what makes our lives seem to be not super inspiring or mind-blowing. It's just sort of a day-to-day -day experience. And this is perfectly normal though. So don't feel bad about yourself. But here are three practical ways that you can do to ease that unhappiness that you're feeling right now. Starting with number one. Understanding the Happiness Equation From the book Solve for Happy by Mo Godot, he says that the formula for happiness is reality minus expectations. Now, based on this equation, if we want to become happier, we should learn to lower our expectations because the less we anticipate an outcome, the greater the likelihood that it will exceed them. Say for example, for me, if I'm trying a new YouTube strategy for my videos, I have zero expectations of how it's going to succeed. And I only focus more on enjoying myself in the moment, but at the same time, still ensuring that I'm striving for something better. What I do is set goals that are realistic and set a reasonable standard for good enough. I allow myself to make mistakes and realize that these are actually part of my growth as a person in many aspects of life. I try my best not to feed my ego and not to be so attached to the outcome that I become unhappier as a result. And I guarantee that if you do the same in any situations in your life, you will be way happier. Principle number two, switch to a look down principle. Sadly, we always love to look up and this tendency to look up generally makes us focus on the gap between where we are now and the person we aspire to be like. I mean, social media make us thinking that everyone's hanging out all the time, going to the fancy restaurants, checking in in a fancy hotel, going on a crazy grand vacation, or everyone's getting married. But that's not life. It's it's only a highlight reel. These highlights that we constantly absorb from the people we follow on Instagram or on the movies we watch on Netflix is starting to really influence the story we tell ourselves about our own lives. So when the days that these aren't happening, we feel unhappy and view our life as less than the highest standard. However, that highlight reel that you see is only one small area of their lives. And when we focus focus on the gap, it causes us to generally feel less happy. The idea of this principle is that it's really helpful for our happiness if we instead could look down. And this doesn't mean to look down on people like being a mean person, obviously, but this means appreciating where we are now compared to where we were before. Because everyone has their own unique strengths, abilities, and to each is his own journey in life. In my case, after I quit my 10-year corporate career, I had zero expectations because I didn't know what's gonna happen as I transitioned to becoming a full-time entrepreneur. Of course, I wanted to be successful and I'll be honest with you, there are many times when I'll ask myself, am I doing enough? Am I working as hard as I want to? Am I actually progressing and becoming closer to my goals? I realized every time I do that, I tend to feel not as happy as I should be. Now, when I need to envision something for my company, I do a retrospection, which is a way of looking down, where I appreciate the things that I've already accomplished, the blessings that I've been given, and all the hard work that already led me to where I am today. So stop basing your own worth in comparison to other people. Instead, embrace your individuality and be true to yourself. Principle number three, 
practice gratitude. Gratitude trains your mind to focus on the positive things that are already present in your life. A study found that there is an association between gratitude and a sense of overall well-being. So practicing gratitude not only helps you experience positive emotions, but it also actually improves your health by helping you sleep better, improving your immune system, and making you feel more alive. Here are three ways that you can do to practice gratitude. First is the nightly ritual. Yeah, I know the name sounds a bit effy but this is not like a scary ritual it means that every end of your day just think about three great things that happened to you during that day because according to some science we have strong tendencies to focus on negativity and ingratitude so by having a ritual every night it will allow your brain to release dopamine and serotonin which makes you feel better and happy second is appreciating small wins. Always celebrate your small achievements and tiny growth that you will be experiencing every day. In my company, for example, The Vineyard, one of our culture is to always celebrate small wins of every member of the team. In fact, every Wednesday, we have a segment in our company meetings where we share our own small wins that we achieved in the past week. The last thing that I could suggest would be prayers. I always start and end my day with an expression of gratitude just for the fact that there is a new morning. I still have a life, a gift of family, and the many other blessings that we should all acknowledge and be grateful for. Life can be extremely busy and chaotic. We're always on the run trying to complete one task after the other. We're always trying to fulfill our responsibilities either for our careers or our family. Families. However, during this frantic race down a never-ending track, we sometimes forget to look after ourselves. We forget to acknowledge our own thoughts, emotions, and needs. We forget to take a breather and live life. So if you want to relearn how to be happy, then simply slow down. Take a break from that chaotic race and breathe. Breathe intentionally and mindfully. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. As I'd always remind you, dare to dream big. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Things the third. Ah, the story we still. We tell, not still. <laughs>